Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, just doing a quick little commentary to answer Tyler Dorsten's question about uh, wax dipping, linseed oil, or paint for your woodenware for your beehives. So um, it's easier to answer a question that I guess everybody can see, uh, including you at home. So um, you got three options when you're talking about woodenware and it lasting. Um, let's start off with paint. So uh, I saw Cayman Reynolds did a video some years ago about um, it, it, when you're painting your woodenware, you really need to paint the, the corners because anywhere there's a, a joint, like a finger joint or the end joints that needs to be double painted, he usually, uh, I think he rollers those edges first and then spray painted second or rollered. I, I don't know, I don't remember, but all I know is that the corners are what take the beating from the weather over time um, on the woodenware. So when it comes to like what Bob Benny does, they use a, um, it's a linseed oil and a copper naphthalate, I think um, is the videos. I didn't look into detail too much. It is a little bit more expensive than painting, but it's not as expensive as wax dipping. And still, um, I know Bob's talked about some of his equipment has lasted like 15, 20 years. Um, so in that particular subject, I think Bob Benny would be a better consult than I, um, being that that's what he does. Um, as far as what we do, so we do wax dipping of our woodenware and the goal is that it's going to last, you know, 20 years. We can have ground contact. Um, the negative about wax dipping is if it sits outside, it does get dark, which makes the hives warmer. But then in the winter, it keeps them warmer. So, you know, trade-offs in the heat of summer, then um, the bees, they'll be up quite a bit. But um, well, like with wax dipping our pallets, we can have ground contact and not have any rot, um, which is really convenient. And just as a barrier to the ground, uh, I put down a, um, a woven weed matting. Um, it's the DeWitt 20 year woven weed matting get on Amazon. We use it for our produce farm, so uh, it's just convenient. But um, to address Tyler's question, so that's your three types. Um, wax dipping is really expensive. To build, custom build our tank, and, and I, I, I didn't fab it up, a good friend of mine is an expert, like a, a we work we used to work together and um he's just a an awesome welder and so um uh to have that tank fabbed up um costs on everything was about 20 no that's not right it was 1500 for the tank and then uh it takes 600 pounds of wax just to fill it so today's cost that's uh you know let's just call it 250 a pound um so you're looking at uh, about 1500 dollars to uh, fill it so it's about three grand to start j just to dip your first piece and then of course as you wax dip the woodenware absorbs the wax and um, you need to refill it and so normally what I do is I'll fill the tank up to the highest level and it usually takes me a whole day to to drop the level of the wax uh, about eight or nine inches and then as I'm getting ready to turn off the wax melter for the day then I'll add more wax to it. And of course we use a 50-50 blend of paraffin and microcrystalline. And our paraffin's got like a 140 melt point. Microcrystalline's got a 190 melt point. So Tyler's big question is like, how do you afford that? Especially when you're starting out. He said he has 30, 40 hives and he's hoping to triple that. And he's looking to grow. So at some point in your bee business, you have to look and say, all right, we're going to have... Um, let's just call it 300 colonies for a, a small sideliner. Uh, we ran 300 production colonies this year and I still have a day job. Now we are very, very busy, but this is kind of that, that tipping point year where we we have 200-ish nukes in addition we'll go into winter with and we'll kind of come out of winter with you know somewhere around 500. Um, I think we've got 250 on the nukes, but any that doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, so you start looking at like 300 production colonies. We run all deep equipment. That means that every hive needs three boxes. That's 910 frame boxes. That's 300 lids. That is um, 150 two-way pallets. To paint that stuff and it only lasts five years didn't make sense to me because my time's valuable. So that $4,000 upfront startup cost for a wax. 
plus, I mean, let's say I'm probably close to $15,000 in wax now that I've used to wax it for our whole operation. But what is that 15K worth divided by, let's say we get 15 more years out of the equipment. That's $1,000 a year. Um, while it seems like, especially when you're starting out, you're like, wow, 15,000 for, um, you know, wax just, just for one aspect of the business. The bee business is just expensive overall. Um, I mean, our sugar bill this year, you know, is well over 15 grand. Um, and we feed a lot of sugar. Our ape of ours, $5,000. Um, I mean, it, when you're at 30 or 40 colonies, you can't think in these numbers as far as, well, holy crap, that's a lot of money going out the door that hopefully it works and keeps the bees alive. Um, but these are realistic aspects of the bee business. So when you start looking at valuing your time over the course of, say, 20 years from now, um, and divide that upfront cost into 20 years. Like I want to build my bee business once and be done with it. I don't have to worry about rotting wood. It just doesn't appeal to me or replacing broken pieces. Like I'm, I'm building quality. All my stuff's really heavy. It's all wax dipped. Um, I, I just recognize that for myself. So um, I, I guess the answer there for Tyler's question is um, it does seem like a daunting upfront cost. But when you value your time over many years to come and the potential to go out to the bee yard and swap the boxes out for the rotten ones for the new ones that you built and how many more, how much replacement equipment do you have to build over the course of 15 years if it was painted? Um, to me, I'm like, I build it once and be done with it. And so, yes, that includes a very costly upfront cost. But uh, the flip side of that is um, you're going to get that longevity out of your equipment. So guys, I hope that lends some thoughts again, Nashville, Nashville farms. Thanks for watching.